in this section we'll look at bio draw so chem draw gives us the ability to also make biological drawings so if you come to view and you see template and you can see a whole lot of stuff that you can use to do biological drawings the first one we want to look at is advanced bio draw so this brings up the advanced bio draw toolbar and you can draw stuff like nucleic acid so you can edit it as we've already done to object you can have anyone that you need so this was yeah nucleic acid as well you can have ribosome and edit it as you need as well you can have enzyme so you have all these tools at your disposal you can have helix so all these are very important tools and chem draw gives us the ability to have them as well so the next one that we will want to look at let's close this one and head over to view template you can also have anatomy template so for instance you can see if you want to draw a human you can also do that so this is a man this is male male female as well you can draw biological parts as well so it's quite cool that you can do everything in here and you don't need to go and get a license somewhere to get images and all so you can always do everything right in here and chem draw gives you the ability so it's very very important to also note this too and you'll be able to use it for anything that you need okay so next one let's just explore some more we can also go to view and head over to template from template we can see even animals so you can add some animals guinea pig flatworm so let's see flatworm you can have rabbit and all so you can have all these animals and if you need it for anything you can also come into view again template and now come to bio instrument so let's go to bio instrument and you can add stuff to your work as well so that is also cool to have so chem draw becomes like a one-stop port for you to have everything that you need chemically and biologically as well to make drawings you can have let's say microorganisms so you can draw virus so let's see virus you can draw notice yeah this is virus virus yeah so you can have all these drawings as well for your demonstrations and lastly let's look at one more let's go to template and you can also do organelles and yeah you can draw all these in as well so that is very useful to have and very important to do so aside going to view template you can also come to your main toolbar and you see template so you can tear it down and you have all these tools here as well so that is always very important to note that you can also just come to your main toolbar you can also go to file and go to open template and you see all of them right here so you can choose whichever one that you need and it will show up and you can just click and draw them backwards so that is also something to note so to finish this off if you just come to file and go to open samples let's move to endocrine system so you see this is something that you can do using cam draw you can just come in and show the endocrine system very easily as well you can also do things like open template and even before that you can 
first of all take this one and and edit them as you need so you can move them around you can change stuff and you can show other things as well so this is something cool to note i was trying to say you can come to open samples and let's choose vasopressin peptide and you can see showing like the families and you have these animals to show so that is very useful and you can do all of it in chem draw so that would be it for the template the bio draw template and in the next lecture we'll look at memory helix protein and others